Hi, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is an article about Barack Obama. This one truth about the US military sent Barack Obama into a fit of rage. Obama made traitorous moves to destroy the military. Trump is working hard to find out how much damage he did. This one truth about the US military sent Barack Obama into fits of rage. Obama tried his best to create a radical new social order in America. And he decided that he could use the armed forces that were under his control as his guinea pig. Obama made moves to decrease the size and spending of the army to make it more cost effective, but at the same time, he added $8.588 trillion to the national debt. He spent trillions of dollars trying to get Americans jobs at the same time that he was asking the military to cut jobs. What he did defies simple logic. But he wasn't thinking about what was best for America. He was looking at his chances of re-election and saw a way to please his radical leftist base. In 2016, he made another move that undercut the military strength. While gender integration could be a good idea, the way Obama implemented it wasn't fair in the least. A key part of the gender integration was updating physical and administrative screening standards. In other words, the physical standards needed to be lowered, otherwise very few women would be able to meet the standards for infantry, armor, and special forces. It's not fair to have a different standard for men and women, especially when you are putting them in life or death situations where physical weakness can be deadly. There are biological differences between men and women. Women, on average, only have half the upper body strength of men, which means that in general female soldiers will be significantly weaker. But Obama is a science denier. Biology and fair standards can be ignored in the name of progress. If it is sexist to have lower standards for men than for women, it is just as sexist to have lower standards for women. Since Obama is gone, the military is trying to fix the mess. In October 2020, there will be a new Army Combat Fitness Test. It will be a gender and age neutral test. The current PT test is only a 40% predictor of success for performing in combat and executing warrior tasks and battle drills, said Major General Malcolm Frost, commander of the Army Center of Initial Military Training. This test is approximately an 80% predictor of performing based on our ability to test the physical components of combat fitness. There is just one problem with a test that is gender blind, and it is making Obama and other liberals boil in anger. Leaked slides of Army physical fitness testing results went viral after being posted by an Army-centered Facebook group. The figures show that a stunning 84% of women who've taken the new Army combat fitness test have failed, whereas 70% of men have passed. It is no secret that sexism is a problem in the military, according to David Brown, a liberal weakling writing at Clearance Jobs. What this test makes clear is that said sexism knows no bounds. And with the capricious stroke of a pen, those men have found a way to wash an entire gender from the ranks. If 84% of women are failing the test, the problem is not with women soldiers, it's the test. The test is judging men and women equally. The problem wasn't the test, it is the people who think equality isn't right, that fair standards aren't fair, that everyone needs a trophy. Do you think that having a gender-blind test will be good for military strength? Let us know in the comments below.